morning everybody welcome back to another vlog it is a tuesday morning and i'm getting ready to head out the door and go meet up with my friend macy i'm so excited we're gonna do like a fun little thrifting day together and we're gonna hang out and film some stuff she's here in arizona to do a couple things to promote her book that's coming out that um i think i'm allowed to say at this point that i'm actually in the book so obviously i've known about this for like over two years now but it's just so exciting. So that's gonna be coming out very soon in like a month by the time you see this. So yeah, that is what we're doing today. We are gonna head to the thrift store. We're gonna bop around, do our usual thing that we always used to do and it's so much fun. So now I am just kind of gathering some things to leave. It is actually a very busy week for me. We have a lot of family stuff going on this week. And if anyone wants to send out some really good wishes, that would be amazing. I'm out of paper towels, so I'm just refilling them right now. But yeah, we're just rolling with the punches. So, you know, doing the best we can, putting one foot in front of the other. So I just made myself my usual green smoothie. I actually didn't have time to do my workout this morning. It's fine. I've been trying to do it every weekday just to like make it a part of the habit, but I didn't allot for enough time this morning. It is currently 7.47. I'm gonna leave here in like 10 minutes, but I just did my usual banana, chocolate protein powder, spinach, smoothie it's delicious and these cups from amazon are so cute but i will not recommend them and i will not link them because i was influenced to buy them from someone else and two out of the four glass lids have already broken so mm. delicious i'm gonna take my vitamins i've been taking a multivitamin and a hyaluronic acid skin hydration vitamin because anything for my skin is a good thing. Anything that can benefit my skin. And I'm pretty sure this one has iron as well, which is good because I'm gonna eat it. Cheers. Health. All right, just packing up my bag to head to the thrift store. I have a bigger tripod. I have a smaller tripod. I have my reusable bags from Bagu. These things are amazing. And they come in the little, you know, pouches. And actually you can wash these and, well, I don't know if you're supposed to, but I do. And they're great. They're just so convenient. So I have this cute little like koi fish constellation one. This is actually a gift from Drew's aunt. She gave that for me for Christmas. And then my smiley face one that I use all the time. Those were the first two I saw and I grabbed them. Got my purse in there. I got a couple snacks. Our, our groceries are about to be delivered. And I, I really wanted to grab some stuff to take with me, but I have like a couple fruit bars and I just filled up my water. My ice water, you get surprisingly thirsty in there. I have my smoothie to drink on the road. I need to put my lipstick on and then I'm gonna put on my shoes and I'll show you a quick little outfit of the day before we head out the door. All right, here is my outfit of the day. I don't have time to put on my lipstick, so we will do that after. But um, I'm wearing this cool thrifted football vest that is quite literally a football vest. You can actually see that there are some like spots for football pads. They're kind of like bumps on the shoulders, but I think it gives a little drama, you know what I mean? It makes it fun and something something funky and different. I have my little charm necklace on from Etsy. I'm gonna wear my gold sort of like aviator old man glasses. I have my squirt from Old Navy and my thrifted cowboy boots. And we're gonna hit the road, so let's do it. All right, just got to the thrift store. Can you see it? Can you see it? I'm going to hop in Macy's car in a couple minutes when she gets here. We're gonna film a couple fun little things. I will try to grab clips when I can, but make sure you stay tuned to Macy's channel and we can reunite and bop around just like the good old days. I can't wait. Shut up! Not you guys in Arizona, are you Oh my God, you guys, it happened! <laughs> Make sure to go watch Macy's video. I'll link it down below. She is amazing, has written an incredible book that's basically like a thrift Bible. Why don't you give your little like elevator pitch about okay. the book? Well, it's right here because I just handed it to Carrie. But this is, hold on, let me see how I look. You look fantastic. I know they love the sunnies. <laughs> um, I Years later, the sunnies still have not left the building. This is Second Chances, the ultimate guide to thrifting, sustainable style, and expressing your most authentic self. It is a first of its kind ultimate guide to thrifting that walks you through every single part of the second hand shopping world, whether that be estate sales. I have a whole entire chapter on estate sales for you hotties that I know have been drooling after the finds about 
um, size inclusivity and thrifting, about all of my thrift tips, about flea markets, about consignment shops, literally anything and everything you ever want, have wanted to know about thrifting. Anything. Very much so with my like personal story intertwined throughout. Um, like my really personal like just story through the thrift universe. We also talk a lot about the three E's, economics, ethics, and the environment. And obviously like the maybe less shiny and fun aspects of thrifting, but the very, very important ones um, that make this world a more sustainable place. Ah! And obviously I had to feature Carrie. She was one of the, literally if not the first person that I knew I wanted to interview for my book. Stop. I know the, the fact that we had these conversations about this book like five years ago, I and know. then like two years ago was when it really started happening and now here we are like holding it this is my first time ever going through it so we're gonna do a little a little reaction I'm gonna do a little flip through she's in chapter four i have never been in a book before so this is i have guys i know you guys that watch carrie will agree with me she's a fucking badass creator she's such a like og youtube girl she's so inspiring to me and it was honestly driving me crazy <laughs> that she hadn't been in a book or on the cover of a damn magazine yet so i had to say when i had the right to put whoever the fuck i wanted in my book i was like carrie dayton oh Harry oh, Dayton, so my queen. Oh my god, I'm dying. Okay, so here we go. We are going to open up to chapter four. Second chances. Who is ready? Ah! Okay, first of all, no, I you need can just to look do a little peek through all of this. Yeah, okay. no, you. They can see whatever. Like, <gasps> I recognize yeah. her. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Super thrift. Super thrift. Super thrift. Okay. Oh my god. Ah! Okay, chapter Wait, four, hold on, yeah, we yeah. gotta, we gotta. Okay, this is chapter so... four, finding the perfect fit. The gorgeous Brendan. Shout out Brendan. Oh a fellow God. LA thrift queen oh. with Carrie. Obsessed, okay, here we go. <gasps> oh. I'm dead. How cute are we? Wait, can I read it? Yeah. Oh my Wait, why are we so cute? I know we didn't even know. Cover. No, that was a very we like we didn't phone. know that was gonna be for the book. Nope. But then when I had this with you, I was like, oh my god. Oh my goodness! It's me, bitch. <laughs> That's so exciting. I'm gagged. There can be on a straight size. Period. Oh, and then the fabulous mo. Love it. it. Makes me so happy. Yeah, like there's just truly anything you could ever want. Anything you've ever, any angle you've ever like considered when looking into secondhand shopping. You're like, oh, what about this or what about this? This bitch has thought of it. Okay, she's thought it through, and it's in this book. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. So it comes out September twenty. September twenty fourth. Fourth. So make sure you go get it. I'll link it down below. I'll link Macy's video down below. I'm in it. Can you yes, believe Harry's it? Yes, Carrie's in it. You guys go pre-order. <laughs> and everyone that pre-orders the book can enter a massive, massive designer bag giveaway, vintage designer bag giveaway. We'll have all the details for you guys, but I want you to be able to enter because we need to get you guys the hottie bags. We need to get you guys the hottie bags and the hottie finds. Yes. And I know you guys all need Carrie on your bookshelf. Obviously. I need to show you this page that I just like know you will like literally love. So first of all, we've got like <gasps> favorite things at the thrift, favorite like it's brands so of thrift. Nostalgic, and then but also for every so thrift queen ever. Time. The tag centerfold. This is this, porn to me. This is absolute porn. I know you appreciate it, Tyler, like me. And I know so you guys much. do too. And there was no way, when I tried to explain this to the publisher, what we were trying to do with the tag centerfold, they were like so deeply confused. Like, I was like, no, no, no. no. Just don't get we it. were just yeah. been photographing every tag. I would like, I would have had every page of the book look like oh this. Oh my God. If it was possible. So, We've got so some good. like gorgeous little. Look at all the look at the model. Uh, AKA Miss Lexi. Go off, Lexi. So the so vacation. good. I'm so proud of you. I know I've said it a million times, but I literally could, could not be more proud of this girl, of these girls, and all the work that they've done and put into it. So yeah, just make sure you go check it out. We're gonna go into the thrift store. We're gonna go get our thrift. We are on. finally gonna do our like fun, chaotic, bopping around, shimmying around the thrift store. We're gonna it's, find some it's stuff. gonna be like 2019 again. So let's fucking do it. Ah! I was just like thinking your outfit looks so cute. Thank you so much. So I figured anything you had in your cart would probably be adorable. Can we see what you have? I would love to show you. Which I know we were filming here. Hey guys. <laughs> I'm literally gonna love that so much. <laughs> so fun. All right, the girlies and I are at brunch. We've stopped off our, it's like noon, but that counts, right? 
And um, was the Lexi ordered some avocado fries. Those look delicious. That sauce looks like it's gonna heal me. Yeah, and then there's so much stuff. I've never heard of this place. I literally just pulled it up. It was right next to the thrift store. And um, yeah, there's a lot of options, so we'll see. Okay, let's give her a taste. Yeah, I would like to either take a taste. I'm not a big like just hunk of avocado Me person. Either, so a little bit, like I'm like a little bit like is it gonna be too like chewy or is it like good? It's pretty is good. It weird? It's pretty it's good. good. Mm -hmm. Is the sauce good? Mm-hmm. Okay, but let's yeah, try them. Maybe not mine. Okay. Oh. It's not bad, right? There's so much interesting stuff to try. Like, I don't know if they have a pistachio mousse fruit bowl. And I'm like, I need to try that. that. So that. many things to choose from. Oh my god, look at all this food. Wait, this what did I what have I done? I literally ordered two like full entrees. I'm right scared. <laughs> oh my god, this all looks so good. Wow, delish. All right, we just finished up brunch. The girls are in the bathroom. It's time to say goodbye. I did a terrible job at vlogging as usual, but I was just trying to be present with the girls and you'll see more of us in the future. Ugh, it feels so good. It's weird because, you know, Arizona is home, but like LA really started to feel like home. So it felt like having a piece of home here at home. I don't know, crazy, but so, so grateful for both of them in my life. I love it. It is Saturday morning now, so it's been quite a few days. And as a mini update, everything went really well this week. We have stuff going on on both sides of our family and everything is great. So really happy to report that everything was like really good news and the best outcome possible. Everyone's recovering and doing good. Um, yeah, so anyways, I am going to do a little bit of filming this morning because I actually ended up taking like almost three days off this week. All day Wednesday and Thursday, I was in, you know, family mode and all that and then actually yesterday Yesterday, Friday we had more stuff to do so anyways we are gonna try to catch up because I'm actually leaving on Monday to go out to Orange County and have our annual birthday trip with me and Alexa we're gonna celebrate her birthday my birthday is always like two days after Christmas so it's just never a time where you feel like you know going on a big trip to celebrate and I just like am always exhausted after the holidays but for her birthday we always love going either to Laguna Beach or like doing something fun together so it's gonna be a really good time we're very excited about that we have some fun plans we're going to Disneyland we're going to the beach. We're doing all the things. I have a surprise for her. So yeah, it'll be really great So um, that's what's happening. We gotta do a lot of work in the meantime and then pack got up and did my workout this morning Drew worked out as well. We had our little protein shakes just showered I'm gonna do a little little bit of work. Nothing too crazy I have more to do later when I get home and then we're gonna go hang out with my mom for a little bit today And that is the plan. Maybe have some more family time later on But I've got some filming catch-ups to do so that is what we are gonna do in the meantime finish some work at least got like a main channel thing done so that's good we're getting ready to head out the door and here is my very casual OOTD I have this top from classy network this is like a built-in bra top so we love that these long shorts are from Abercrombie got my vans got my little scrunchy socks got my gold accessories and then I decided to wear this necklace which I haven't worn in like probably years this is a necklace that I got from Drew for Christmas in 2017 I think reputation was like the new album at the time and I was obsessed with the song call it what you want and she says I want to wear his initial on a chain around my neck not because he owns me because he really knows me and it's so cute Drew got me this for Christmas that year based off of that song and then we got a leopard tote bag because I need to bring my laptop with me because I need to edit something we got our returns ready to go to UPS dishwasher going and we're heading out so let's do it Got 
got the packages dropped off. Next up, it's Dutch Bros. Can I put up a medium um, decaf iced latte with almond milk? And then do you have any like sugar-free syrups? Like do you have like a sugar-free caramel syrup? Could I do that? Amazing, thank you so much. Yes, please. Thank, thank you, you so too. much, you too. Anywho, it's coffee time. Yeah. Yay, got my coffee. Forgot to update that I also now have been trying different flavors. I don't know, I've like been trying to branch out. I think those like cold foam creamers that I've talked about in vlogs have like really inspired me. It's a little sweet, but next time I'll get it half sweet, but it's very good, good flavor. Alright, it is a while later. It is about 2 p.m. We're just getting home and I am actually going to sit down and do one of my least favorite things ever, which is do a voiceover. I am so terrible at doing voiceovers, but sometimes it's just inevitable when I'm doing things like filming fitting room videos or is there a spot on this camera? There sure is. I am so sorry. Anyways, or if I'm doing like an estate sale video or something like that, so um, enjoy watching me struggle to death through this voiceover. If anyone has any tips, let me know. Manifesting is going to be a smooth, effortless voiceover. Here I go. Which looked like it had kind of like skins. Okay, um, I did find these. I'm not even kidding. When I started this clip, it was 2.38 when I sat down to film this. And now it is 3.18. That's how long it took me to do this little section of a voiceover that was probably 10 minutes long. Anyways, we did it. Goodbye, I'll talk to you later. All right, it is yet another day later. It is Sunday now. I am just getting ready to make myself a little coffee. I finished my filming today. So, you know, filming days on Saturday and Sunday, not ideal, but also grateful to do it. I was looking to see if I had a tripod down here, but I do not. So I think I'm gonna make myself a little coffee. It's about noon right now. I'm not quite hungry for lunch yet, but I would like myself a little, a little drinky drink my little coffee this is like the part of my day that i look forward to i don't usually make it this late it's usually like around 10 a.m but i've just been busy i'm out of almond milk i'm out of my almond milk but i guess i'll make it with oat milk it'll be fine i just won't add my fancy little creamer because then it's too milky you know what i mean but anyways, I need to kind of like finish up my work for right now. I have to do some editing. I'm, it's gonna take me a couple hours to do that. And then I need to pack because I'm leaving tomorrow morning, like I said. My flight is at like 8.50 a.m. So quite a bit to do, but that's okay. We are gonna get it all done. We are. And um, I think that I've got mostly an idea of everything that I wanna pack. I made a list on my phone because if you didn't know, packing for me, I think it's an ADHD thing as well, but it is like an absolute nightmare. It stresses me out so much. And I feel like if I have a list or an idea of different outfits that I wanna wear before I pack, then it's like a lot easier because otherwise I'm just standing in front of my closet like. So I think I have like a general idea of have it written down of like what I need to bring. So it's like, I need to bring a pair of pajamas. I need to bring a Disneyland outfit. I need to bring a beach outfit. I need to bring something for dinner. I need to bring something for the plane ride home, you know, stuff like that. And so I feel like it'll be easier to like break it up that way. So we'll see. As much as I want to be one of those people that films a pack with me video, I think I've done that once in my entire YouTube career. And I just, it, the older I get, the worse it gets. Like I just hate packing and I'm terrible at it. So that's okay. But um, yeah. Sorry, I'm just like giving you my to-do list out loud, but that's pretty much all that's going on around here. Not too much else, really. We're gonna make this lovely little coffee. Let's see what I'm in the mood for. I'm gonna try just with milk first. We'll see if I'm gonna add something. I just want like a little splash. Maybe like that much? Is that a big splash? I don't know. See, I'm just worried. No, I'm gonna do a tiny little bit of cold foam creamer. Just a teeny tiny because if you missed the last vlog i hate super milky coffee like i cannot do it it has to be like more coffee flavor than anything else oh yeah that's perfect that'll be fine now i'm just gonna fill it up with ice 
sometimes when I bring you guys along with me to, uh, we're just getting some ice here. <laughs> when I bring you along with me to do like really mundane things, I'm like, why am I filming this? But you know, I love watching people do it. So I'm assuming some other people do too. Wow. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Mm, pretty good. I am not mad at that at all. So anyways, I've clearly changed into my comfies already. I'm gonna park it on the couch and do some editing for the next couple of hours. Sorry if you can hear the ice machine and the loud AC going off at the same time. It just is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. But um, yeah, thanks for watching this vlog. I'm really excited for the next vlog. I'm not sure exactly how much vlogging I'm gonna be able to do, but I'll for sure get like montages and stuff like that um, with Alexa, cause we're gonna have a fun little girls trip. It's gonna be great. It'll be really nice to have some friend time. We haven't seen each other in like a month and a half and so it's overdue you know what i mean so anyway thank you so much for being here thanks for watching this vlog and i will see you very soon in the next one bye